Hello, and welcome to Gaggle. My name is Heidi Faber, and I'll be taking you on a tour of the Gaggle School online community. Um, first thing I would like to show you is reasons of why you should choose Gaggle. Um, as you can see, principals support Gaggle because it gives them a peace of mind. Gaggle is a highly safe, um, very sensitive firewall uh, to prevent students from inappropriate use of the Gaggle email or the Gaggle texting or the other communicative options through Gaggle. Uh, it's reducing paper costs and ink costs and it's improving communication between students and teachers. Teachers are enjoying Gaggle uh, because just like the principals, the communication is greatly improved. It's creating a novel environment for students to learn and also the paperless classroom. You no longer have to worry about, oh, I did not make enough copies. I don't have time to make copies. I don't have any paper. So it's streamlining the classroom. And students like Gaggle because uh, they get to collaborate with their peers. It's almost like it's, it's fun. Like they would be at home doing Facebook or Twitter. Instead, they're at school but using Gaggle, the same ideas, um, which makes it more fun, more interactive. Uh, also, they can turn in their assignments electronically. They can save their assignments. If they're doing the paper, they no longer have to have their jump drive. They can save it right to their Google account so that they can access it anywhere there's internet access. They can even access it on their phones if they choose. So now I've brought you to my own personal Gaggle account. I am a teacher and um, my district has purchased into the Gaggle software and all teachers have an account, all students have an account. Uh, it just needs to be set up. So because I was doing a big research project, I thought I would try out Gaggle with my students and I've been getting very good responses from it for my students, uh, especially because of the way they can save it, email it to each other, uh, work collaboratively. They it is making their lives much easier with their project than if they had a bunch of papers um, to lose. Plus, if someone's absent, I no longer have to hear, though, so-and-so has the paper and they're not here today. Oh, well, great. You can go to your Gaggle and get it instead. Um, this is the home page. When you log into Gaggle, this is what you will see. You can customize the background like I did. There's many different options. And that would just be by going up to my account, which is also where you can um, set up class groups, more advanced options, you can link children to each other, create a signature, um, mail forwarding, as you can see I have all the mail that goes to my Gaggle go straight to um, my other school email. Uh, on the home page you can see the different tabs. There's the homework drop, drop box tab. If I were to assign something, the students could do it for homework or even in class. And instead of turning in a printed copy, they could just put it in my homework drop box. When I go to grade it, I can just open it, look at it, grade it. No paper necessary. Also very helpful if students are out sick for an extended period of time. There's also a blog option, and on my home page there's a, the quick links to my blog, which I'll go through later. There's the agenda. Um, you can customize a calendar with, as a teacher, you can do your planning right there on your calendar. As a student, it's helpful for uh, due dates. The message board, the social wall, which is uh, like Facebook or Twitter, you can just type in a little, you know, how you doing today, don't forget to do this kind of comments. And 
mine also has the weather. So over on the left, there are other tabs. I'll close out that one. And this is the mail tab. And because I'm a teacher, uh, I have the blocked option, which means any student that sends an email that has material in, in it that is questionable, it's blocked. And as I said, it's very sensitive. The student was typing about to kill a mockingbird. Uh, it would block it because of the word kill. So it's very sensitive. Um, just because it's blocked does not mean it cannot be sent. It goes to my folder. I would then look at to see what the student is sending. And if it is something about To Kill a Mockingbird, obviously I would unblock it so it could be sent. Um, whereas if it's inappropriate, then other measures can be taken. Down here, here are all the applications you can use with Gaggle. Uh, if you have any problems with Gaggle, or if the students do, they can go to the live chat support, which, um, as you can see, it's dark, it's evening, so it's closed, but you can leave a message during the day. There's actually someone there that can help you with a live chat. The Zoho documents is where a student could create uh, a document right here in the Gaggle account, kind of like Google Docs, and then save it. Again, accessible all over wherever there's internet access, but also because it can be collaborative. Um, with other students in the class as long as they're grouped together. There's also the calendar option as I mentioned. You can just click on a day, fill in what you need. Like I said, excellent with planning for teachers, for students. Um, it's a great way for deadlines, due dates, uh, it alerts you on your cell phone if you set that up, if the students set that up. We have the digital locker, and the digital locker is when students save their assignments, um, they can also save a copy in their digital locker. And what my school wants to do, or my, my district, is they want to make it so over time the students save all their papers, their projects, and each year add to it so that by the time they leave, they have just an enormous portfolio of all their work throughout uh, grade school. Um, but this is still rather new in our county, so it has not reached that, that potential yet. Here is the application for the homework box, which is pretty much the same as what you saw on the home page. The social wall bigger one. You can see all my friends. You can add a link which is helpful. Like I, um, my students are doing a research project. If I think if I can find a link that might help them maybe with MLA format, I could put the link in there and share it to all my friends. And when you're done with the tabs you can always close them out. Um, my blog. I created a blog for my for my class recently and it's quite easy. You just go to create, type in what you want, and this can be useful. The students also have um, the ability to create blogs. And blogs can be useful in that uh, students could make a reflection on something they're doing and then the teacher could as an assignment have students make comments to the other students reflections um, you know giving them criteria teaching them how to be professional when it comes to blogging and commenting on blogging um, which which is something they need to know in the real world other applications is the gaggle tube which basically has YouTube videos but it's filtered uh, thanks to the gaggle firewall. Um, the safe texting, if I needed to text a student, um, I could do it this way to make sure um, there's nothing inappropriate going on. Message boards. Uh, I can create profile. It was very simple. There's my personal profile. It took me about three minutes to make. 
Um, if the teacher or the student is stuck on how to do something, uh, the training videos can give you online tutorials to show you. Let me close up some of these tabs. There's portal links and um, because I'm an administrator, I can alter some things. I am only a teacher. Obviously, uh, other people in my school have higher abilities than I do. Um, but I hope you uh, enjoyed your tour of Gaggle and that if you have Gaggle available at your school or district that you take full advantage of it. Um, it's well worth the effort of getting into it and understanding all its functions and the students will enjoy the novelty of it and your principals will enjoy the safety of it. So thank you. Have a nice night.